Now that we're done with this module, let's summarize what we've learned in this module. The sample proportion is a, is a point estimate for the population proportion, but sample proportions vary by chance. We therefore use an interval estimate called a confidence interval to give us a range of values for the population proportion. We can calculate a confidence interval for a population proportion when we can use a normal distribution to model the long run behavior of sample proportions. We can use a normal distribution model when the sample is randomly selected and there are at least 10 observed successes and 10 observed failures in the sample. And again, we say su success and failure, they don't necessarily mean something good and bad. Just what you're trying to study or see the, the proportion of is your success and then the opposite of that is failure. It doesn't really mean good and bad. Um, the interpretation of a confidence interval depends on the confidence level. For example, using a 95% confidence level, we are 95% confident that the population proportion falls within the interval. 95% confident means that in the long run, 95% of random samples will generate intervals that contain the population proportion, and 5% will not contain the population proportion. A confidence interval is a sample proportion plus or minus a margin of error. The margin of error is related to the confidence level. For a 95% confidence level, the margin of error is approximately two standard errors. The formula is precisely this, where that Z with a little C is used to be a two and we were just focusing on 95% confidence, but depending on the confidence level, Z will be different. That's the Z score associated with that percentage. In the 90% confidence instance, the Z score is 1.645, or if you want to round it, 1.65. But for 95% confidence, as you see, we've seen it a lot in the formula, it's 1.96 for that Z-score or rounded to two if you don't really need it to be pre too precise. And then lastly, if you want 99% confidence, your Z-score will be 2.58. Lower confidence levels and higher sample sizes lead to narrower confidence intervals. So it really narrows down what your population proportion could be. A narrower confidence interval has a smaller error. Since we want to be confident that an interval accurately estimates the population proportion, high levels of confidence are desirable. So larger sample sizes are the preferred way to decrease the error and create narrower confidence intervals.